We're back, everybody, with John Hamm. Uh, I love you rocking the vintage mug there, my friend. Buddy, that is from season one. Yeah, it really is. L-N-J-F. Uh, and I thank you so much for being a guest on the show then and The Tonight Show, really, and doing this. It means a lot to me that you came on. Thank you, buddy. Um, buddy, it's my pleasure, and I'm always happy to, to hang with JF. Thank you, bud. Uh, can we talk about the uh, uh, James Netflix? Franco. James Franco. <laughs> Of course. Uh, May 12th on Netflix, uh, the interactive special, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy versus the Reverend. I'm free. Kimmy versus the Rev. So, all right. So you remember these because you're of a certain age, but the, there used to be these things called choose your own adventure books, right? And you would read the book and at the end of the thing, it would say, okay, do you want to go into the cave or do you want to go uh, onto the, into the river? And then you would turn to whatever page it was and you would follow that that path so this is that but in the 21st century with uh tina fey and robert carlock writing jokes and the the, the whole world of kimmy schmidt and uh, we have the additional uh talents of daniel radcliffe no who, who, plays, who plays kimmy's um fiance uh and so there's a there's a big reveal in the in the whole thing and, and it's it's the it's the universe that you've known and loved with uh, with Kimmy and the Reverend, but it's uh, it's very uh oh special guest star. Sorry, special Where's guest star. Special you... guest star. Where's mom? Hi, oh. hey, hi, Winnie. Hi. Well, tell John what you're what you're reading. What are you reading? This is not a book. Yes, it is. Coloring. It's a coloring book. book. Okay, well you can kind of read it. It says farm animal. Okay, I'm working on this one. I just need to do the background. That's really pretty. Is that that's a that's a really pretty cow. It's not, it's a pig. Oh, uh, right, a pig. That's what I meant. What did I say? What's a cow? That's okay. a cow. Eh, that's a lamb. No. Wait, <laughs> show me, is there a duck? Let's see. Is there a duck in there? What about a chicken? I'm going to see if there's a duck. Duck or chicken? Anything with a beak. <laughs> that's a couple of chickens right there. If I've ever seen a chicken, Just that's a couple a chicken. of chickens. All right, bye, chicken. <laughs> Thank I'll you see you later, much. chicken. I got a chicken. I got a uh, chicken. She's not a chicken. Uh, oh. it, it took uh, homeschooling just for her to figure that out. <laughs> hey, that's a that's a that's trending positive. That's a yeah. Lesson. We were we were nervous for a while. We go oh, maybe she like, might be am a, I a chicken? chicken. It's one of those. You know, it was it was a hypnotist at like a county fair. For sure, that'll and do then, it. But maybe you get one of those really talented chickens that's like good at tic-tac-toe or math or something so you never know <laughs> do you know that i mean dude i heard rumors of that chicken in new york city oh, yeah. there, you know him well you know who i i learned stories like that about was from how like he knew all of those weird like new york flea circuses and he really did chickens and i mean he was such he was so new york cal wilmer wasn't he Unbelievable. it was the, that's what i mean there's never there's you know it's a it's there's 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 only a few dedicated weirdos left yeah. in the world and he was a hundred percent one of them i love yeah um, the, yeah i think he might have told me about that either him or zog told me about the tic-tac-toe playing chicken yeah they i mean it was, that was like what that was what like Times square was Back in the old days, like it was, you would you go would, there for like peep shows and like freak shows. But you would gamble against the chicken or no? Yeah, you'd bet against the chicken and you would always lose. Or unless you were an idiot because you oh, can't boy. lose tic-tac-toe yeah. unless you're terrible. Uh, hey, John, uh, we ask everyone that comes on the show if they have a charity that they uh, want to highlight or spotlight and, or work with or just want to talk about and you chose one that i think is just fantastic st jude.org um man oh man uh what, what's your connection with st jude um i've i've been i've probably been working with st jude for a better part of two decades um i've uh my i have an uncle that lives out here who married my mom's sister and his best friend was a guy named tony thomas who is marlo thomas's uh little brother and who is danny thomas's son and Danny Thomas started a long, long time ago uh, an organization called St. Jude Children's Research Hospital that basically made sure that any kid that was sick could get uh, care free of charge. And not only did he make sure that happened through donations and endowments and all this fundraising stuff that you have to do, 
they also began a, an incredible research facility down in Memphis where the organization is centered uh, that has uh, increased the uh, curability rate of so many pe pediatric uh, diseases and cancers and, and, and ailments that were previously thought to be 90 to 100 percent fatal are now down in the single digits. So the, they've done an amazing job at not only helping the, the, the kids obviously uh, get better, but also uh, providing the, the, the framework for the emotional support of the families. Uh, oh, yeah. Because as you know, as if, you, if your kid ever gets sick, it's, it's, not, it's not just about them, it's everybody gets uh, emotionally involved in it. So it's, um, it's an amazing organization. It's one that I think is great. I think you've done some work with them too in the past. Sure. Um, and they, they, they do it all for free. I mean, that's the other great part of it is that uh, nobody's making money off of it and they're, they're fully sharing all of their research um, with uh, organizations around the world and they're considered one of the preeminent ones. So they, they have a big event coming up um, on Tuesday where they're, they're doing a, uh, a, a global streaming situation. Um, oh, great! Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure we can throw a link up on there if. if uh, in, Absolutely in, done. But, um, Absolutely. So uh, yeah, so that's it, and and it's uh, it's always been something I've I've, I've been uh, I've been a big uh, believer in, and uh, I hope uh, I hope people people get the word out and and donate. Anything you guys can give, anything, even if it's a dollar, it means a lot. It goes a long way. So uh, it's a long way. Stjude.org. And I want to thank you, John Hamm, for coming on the show, for just being you. And I just miss you. And I can't wait to see you in person, buddy. I really do. That I have this. Hugs can't go away, right? Oh, here we go. Let's bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bud. Love you, Jimmy. Good to see yeah. you, bud. Thank you, pal. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.